this here is the DreamBot L10 Pro, a robotic vacuum that is also a mop featuring a LiDAR navigation, variety of different sensors, as well as full smart app integration capability, and is only priced under $500. It's one of the most highly sophisticated robotic vacuums we've seen yet, just at a budget price range. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our box. So it kind of showcases a little bit more in terms of what it's about on the packaging. So you do see the robot here. So it does have a high precision 3D uh, module allowing you to go ahead and detect its environment around it and kind of create a 3D environment. So it knows exactly where it's at in real time. You do have a 4000 PA, which is actually a strong suction unit. So for starters, we do have our user manual as well as a quick start guide. We have our mop component. So it's a simple magnetic attachment which will attach to the bottom. All right, so in here we have our charging cable as well as our base station. So you can go and place it against any kind of wall and then the robot vacuum will automatically return back to its starting position uh, so you can go ahead and charge it. All right, so this here is our robotic vacuum. Now, first impressions, it has a very nice high quality grade feel. So you do have this almost like acrylic glass uh, casing here on the top features a LiDAR navigation, so it's constantly revolving, creating a 3D environment around it for obstacle avoidance, as well as creating boundaries. You do have a home button, a power button, and it looks like a sectional button too. Now, it does have sensors, uh, so if it does bump, it does have a bump sensor. Now, as you kind of look at the front here, you do have a high precision 3D screen, so this will allow it to create a uh, obstacle avoidance feature. And then as we kind of rotate it on the bottom here, you'll see that it does have a dual wheel access system. So this is an active suspension line to go over carpets and different bumps. So this here is our brush unit that it does come with. So you just go ahead and attach this to the bottom just like this and that is ready to use. Now this here is our brush. So it does just revolve just like this and I believe you can go ahead and take it off by simply pushing these two buttons here and this will go ahead and remove the cap which you can just take off the bristle and you can go and clean it manually if you need to uh, and then and place it back in place clips into place, so that's it. You do have a lid here too in the front, so you do press this button right here, just like this. This will pop out, pull this just like this, and dump the dirt into the garbage, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now it does have a brush here too, and that is more or less the gif of it. So with that said, let's go ahead and plug this thing into the wall, boot it up, and try it out. All right, so we're all set ready to go. Our dream robot vacuum is all charged up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the on button. And there we are, our robotic vacuum is on its way. So surprisingly, it's actually very quiet and it does have a built-in LiDAR, so it is building a 3D environment around it, which is great. Uh, you can see the sensors in motion as it kind of moves itself around the corners right over there. And it does have that bristle there that does suction the uh, dirt into the vacuum. All right, so right now it's working its way around the room gathering information about where it can go and where it can't go. And it's just gonna keep moving itself until it finds a corner. And it's kind of looping around our fireplace now. All right, well, let's just say if we were done vacuuming. So you can go ahead and hit the home button. And it'll automatically return back to the dock to charge. And it's made back its way back to the charge. So overall, it is actually a very simple concept to use. All right, so this here's our app. So once you've connected the, the robotic vacuum, it will automatically come into your favorites. So we can click this right here. And this will pull up some of the data behind the robot. So you can see the amount of cleaning area, cleaning time, the percentage battery that it has remaining on there. And then even shows a map of what the robot exactly saw while it was doing its last cleanup. Now you can assign no-go zones. This will allow the robot to understand, hey, I'm not allowed to go in that area. Let's kind of draw those out, which is really nice. Uh, and then you make the box. You can also create virtual walls and you can go ahead and create no mop zones. You don't have to mop the carpet. So just keep that in mind. So just hit check and it'll automatically save that information going forward to know not to go in that specific area. Now you have different cleaning modes. So you have quiet mode, standard mode, strong mode and turbo mode. And same with the water mode. You do have a slightly dry, standard or wet based on what you're using it for. If I hit on turbo mode, it'll automatically use that going forward. 
Now, if I hit start, you can see that the robot vacuum will automatically just start moving so I don't have to be home physically to use the robot vacuum. So right now it's gonna go on turbo mode, so do keep in mind that it's gonna be quite loud. Uh, and there we are. So it's gonna start doing its thing. And even on the map, it'll show exactly the whereabouts or the exact position where the robot vacuum is. That's really cool. Now, if I were to stop it, all I have to do is hit dock, and it'll automatically return back to the dock. So it's really easy and simple to use. And from there, you set timing, uh, create patterns, and you can see schedule cleanup, um, and just a variety of other functionalities as well. So kind of gives you an idea what that's about. The next thing we're going to try out is the mopping mode. So the nice thing about this particular unit is that the water is held only in the mop area. So it doesn't go directly into the robotic vacuum. So you don't have to worry about kind of holding this about and dumping water out of it or pouring water into it. It's literally everything in here. So you just pour the water in there. And then once you do that, you slide it in place. Just like this. And water tank has been installed. that's it. All right, so back into the menu, we can click on cleaning modes and we can change the water flow settings from slightly dry to standard to wet. And then we can also change the mopping patterns from daily mopping to deep mopping. Uh, so this can improve performance, but make it a little bit more wet. So let's try this out and see how this looks. And we'll hit play. All right, so there you guys have it. So this is your DreamBot L10 Pro. Overall, a great robotic vacuum for the price. It allows you to go ahead and use it for a variety of features. You do get the two and one capability of the mop as well as the vacuum. Uh, again, very standard stuff in terms of a robotic vacuum. It does kind of have all the bells and whistles, so I do highly like that. Now, it does have a lot of different sensors, the LiDAR navigation, as well as the 3D unit, so you can go ahead and control it. And then you do have the smart app capability. So it's literally everything you need in a robotic vacuum, and it looks really nice, and it's really easy on the eyes. So with that said, if you guys had any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.